What is going on guys? Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So listen up. We're going to break down SoFi in this video and of course we're going to break down the indexes as well and maybe some other stocks later in the video as it is currently a nice looking green day. Let me make my face a bit smaller here guys so we can see what's going on. So check it out. It's about noon on the east coast right now and we have all the indexes in the green, we have the Russell up, let's see, about three quarters of a percent. It's pushing highs here on the four hour chart. The NASDAQ's up 1.4%. You guys can see triple Q's about two, three dollars away from all time highs. We have SPY up, let's pull that up and see around 1%, actually more like 0.9%, either way, looking pretty good. And the Dow's up 0.3%. And by the way, guys, SPY just hit an all-time high at almost $515 per share. And the Dow Jones is, uh, let's see, about three, 400 bucks away from all-time highs, up almost 0.4%. On the day, as SoFi, I think, is down, funny enough, guys, on the day. Let's pull it up. Uh, yeah, SoFi is down 2.3% after the news that we got a couple of days ago. And I believe this sell-off is an overreaction. I'm not sure what you guys think, but we covered that before here on the channel. I think it's a bit of an overreaction. I haven't bought more shares personally, but I'm just... Uh, you know, watching this, like, are we really about to go into the sixes? I mean, if we do, which it looks like we might, um, I might consider buying some more SoFi, considering that's where I started buying in the first place, right, guys? I covered this about two, three months ago when I first started buying the stock. I was buying in the 680 to 690 range, and now we're at 722. You guys can see we had that big drop off uh, from around. 915 to about 715 that was a two-day drop down uh drop off rather of around 22 percent so that that got the stock in a bear market then we rallied a bit yesterday but really it was just consolidation and we consolidated a bit in the pre-market today and now it's pretty much been red the entire day you guys can see we opened up at around 750 760 today uh, on SoFi, then we dumped down to about 7.30, rallied a bit to 7.40, and now we're on our um, next leg down, if you will. We're seeing a leg down in real time. So, yes, yeah, SoFi is not looking so pretty here, guys, not going to lie. And on the five-day chart, we're approaching this big support level, which it doesn't look like we're, uh, you know, we're going to hold. Who knows? We, we might hold it. You never know. But all signs are pointing uh, to more downside here. So I would not be surprised if SoFi did get into the sixes again by the looks of it, at least as of now. And again, we're going to break it down the way we see it here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and be like, oh, this or that. I'm still long. I'm still bullish long term. But in the, uh, you know, in, in reality at this point, in the short term, we're not looking so bullish, guys. We're looking pretty bearish. We got the death cross. We're under the moving averages. And again, if we fall through seven, it could be slipping pretty quickly uh, from that point, in my opinion, uh, which if I actually just clear the drawing set, might as well do that and zoom in a little bit here. You guys can see this spot that we're at right now in the low sevens, not only a support from a couple of days ago, but also from, you guys can see a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, right? So if that breaks, I'm thinking we could be going mid sixes on SoFi, which I would be a buyer. That's where I would be buying uh, more, adding to my position. And we'll take it from there, guys. Again, I'm looking to hold long term. I'm not you know, trying to get out next week or trying to time it perfectly or anything like that. But I am going to wait and see if we do take out seven because by the looks of it, the way it's trending, we might be taking seven out. Just being completely honest. You guys see these lower highs being made. Boom. We have clear support at seven, seven, 15. We're kind of, you know, a falling knife heading to seven dollars. We have a descending triangle here. I'm not loving the odds for a, you know, a rebound in the very short term here. I could be wrong, but we might be going mid sixes, guys. That's kind of what I'm thinking in the very short term. And again, that's where I'm looking to buy more. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And this is happening in the midst of a nice green day like we covered 
earlier in the video. Spy hit an all-time high at 415 or not 415 $514, excuse me, guys, and 87 cents. That's the all-time high. And, you know, a lot of these big tech names are looking pretty solid right now. Of course, Microsoft is, you know, looking the best out of all of them. That one in Meta, I would say, right? Meta is pretty much, yeah, there we go, up 4% on the day. Another all-time high for Meta, $513, $14 per share. Microsoft is awfully close to all-time highs, about 13 bucks away. Um, you know, Google is a bit beaten down, but it is rebounding today up 2%. This is a stock that I've been uh, buying on the dip here. I bought more at 133. I think that was yesterday uh, or maybe the day before. Um, either way, I bought more Google recently at 133. Uh, let's see, Apple's getting very beaten down, although I'm not looking to buy more Apple personally. Um, it's it's interesting worth it's worth looking at and honestly I would look at it more as a trade or at least that's what I'm doing right now um, not loving the valuation still for Apple long term here I mean for me to buy long term shares this has to get down to like 120 or 130 or um, at least a 150 and under uh, we'll see if that happens but who knows maybe we don't even break 165. Uh, which was the low from a couple of months ago. Maybe we get a huge relief rally, which could happen. And that's kind of what I'm, you know, waiting for here. And that's why I'm watching it as a trade, right? Uh, but who knows? With the China pressures right now, it might take a little bit for this to rebound. But either way, I'm watching Apple as it is down 30 bucks from all-time highs or about 16%. In other words, it's almost in a bear market here, guys. And Tesla's getting beaten down pretty badly. It's down, um, or it was down a 172 earlier. Now we've rebounded a bit. But a lot of these big tech stocks, guys, are down a lot. Sure, Nvidia's up, Meta, Microsoft, those are crushing it. And don't get me wrong, there's so many stocks crushing it, but a lot of the bigger names out there are actually down, or not a lot of them, but some of them are down a lot. Like Tesla, we just went over Apple, it's almost down 20%. Google's down more than I think it should be after earnings. I mean, it was at 156, almost an all-time high. And we just hit 131 yesterday or the day before. Google's down 15%. So a lot of these are down a good chunk, um, which is interesting. But again, NVIDIA, AI, you know, that's running the market right now. And I think, yeah, I don't think I know for sure. NVIDIA is a bigger company now than Google and I believe Meta as well when it comes to uh, market cap. Google for sure. Uh, I have to double check on Meta because their stock keeps going up as well. So it changes all the time. But Google's market cap's like a $1.7 uh, trillion, right? NVIDIA's in the twos right now, I believe. So yeah, crazy to think that NVIDIA is now a bigger company than Alphabet, which I guarantee it. If you ask somebody random on the street, you're like, what, what company is bigger, NVIDIA or Google Alphabet? Everybody's going to say Alphabet. But yeah, it's crazy how fast things turn. NVIDIA went from under a trillion to now <clears throat> over two trillion. It is just unbelievable. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Might as well just wrap it up there uh, for this video. Don't want to just uh, drag it on too long just for the sake of doing so. Uh, so yeah, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get the 50,000 subs this year. Don't forget to also get your free stocks for Moomoo -moo, up to 15 stocks, each up to $2,000. Fund your account with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks and fund it with at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks totaling 15 stocks and again each of those could be valued up to two thousand dollars guys get on it the clock's ticking use that link down below and with that being said cheers i'll catch you guys later